Hi, I'm Sharon Paris Chambers. I'm an author who's found her voice. I'm also a motivational speaker. I will tell you a bit more about my views on the sacred feminine. It's an area in which I like to speak on, a topic I like to discuss. This work of prose is called The Ascension of the Sacred Feminine. And on International Women's Day, I greet all women. This is March 8, 2022. I greet all women in love and empowerment as we break the bias. In the creative arts, I offer this work in prose. It's an inspired work. It speaks for itself, and it lifts women up to the level of divinity, where I am asking women to continue to elevate themselves and to manifest their destiny, breaking all stereotypes. And now for the work. The Ascension of the Sacred Feminine comes to us in a book called Living Life as a Sacred Practice, Discover Yourself as a Source of Creation, available on Amazon.com by Sharon Paris Chambers. I am the sacred feminine that was silenced by those who wanted to ascend my throne, to brush me aside into the obscurity, into obscurity in the ash heaps of eternity. However, like Isis and Osiris, I gathered my consciousness, other parts, and reconnected to my greatness. I am the sacred feminine, the mother of creation, the mother goddess. I am that I am. God is eternal. I and my sister Gaia, Mother Earth, are one. We have ascended to the throne to love, forgive, honor, respect, and teach our mystical truth as the sage within never to be silenced in this generation. We will reveal the feminine nature in males and females, awakening the yin and yang in every being and their connection to the universe. We will use nature's electromagnetic force, the energetic field to reconnect to humanity. We are ready to express our magical arts to speak, think, and move at the speed of light. That's right, my sisters. We are entering mock time, vibrating at the speed of light. And love. We are love. We are peace. We are the womb of creation. Repeat after me. I am love. I am peace. I am the womb of creation. I am. I am. I am. Connecting with your goddess self, ascend your divine throne. Assume your rightful place. Never will you be looked down upon, stamped on, thrown out of churches, Bibles, sacred texts, dishonored, placed behind men, hidden from yourself and other female goddesses. Those who seek and have sought to hide you are being removed, uprooted, and silenced. Yes, Earth Mother's hurling through space faster than ever in her history to arrive at this time when Earth's axis is tilted back to the time when the sacred feminine is honored, worshipped, and elevated. We, the womb, the incubator, the tree of life, cannot be replaced. Cut the umbilical cord, yes, you're on your own. But Mother Earth still looks after you. Connect with her. Ground yourself in her. Honor her and love her as you love yourself. You will become balanced, whole, and spiritually grounded. You arrive at this sacred place when you can say, I am a reflection of Mother Earth. I am the sacred feminine. I am a goddess born into creation each moment, ever manifesting in the now. And so it is. Living life is a sacred practice. Discover yourself as a source of creations created for all people, for empowerment and upliftment, for spiritual guidance and direction. And in it, we have chapters on peace. One of the thoughts of, on peace 
is that peace is more than an absence of war. And I'd like to mention that here, as my colleague Dinah McIntyre Pike asked me to say something on peace, and so I'd like to say briefly, peace is more than an absence of war. It is the intrinsic nature, essence of the human being. When you are at peace, there is love, there is harmony, there is light. Very little can move you from a place of peace unless you shift from this space, this empowering feeling into another space where energy is low. Energy is high. There's light and love there. When we are at peace at our very nature, but how can we be at peace when the world continues to be at war? How can we be at peace when millions of women are earning less than a dollar a day? How can we be at peace when so many children go hungry and are not in school? We need to make sure the girl child is taken care of. We need, they grow up to be women. And as educated women, they can help change the world. They can work in professional jobs in all spheres of society. And so peace is an essential state and we must pursue peace in the world. There is no other way. Thank you. I am that I am.